Hi there. Today we're going to look at working with casting parts with Cam Assist for Autodesk Fusion. Let's jump in. We've got a part loaded in Fusion now with two bodies, one casting version and another with our finished mill configuration. This situation might reflect where a single cast part is used to create different final parts, depending on the milling processes used. Now, we're going to create a manufacturing setup using these bodies. For the model, we're going to select the finished milled CAD file body. And for the stock, we're going to select from solid and then pick our casting body. With our setup defined, we are ready to launch Cam Assist. For this part, we are going to use the demo metric tool set. Other than that, we can hit run. For the video, we have sped up the calculation time a bit, but it is still a very quick process relative to programming everything manually. Once Cam Assist has finished the cloud calculations, we have to finish processing the toolpaths in Fusion. We'll skip ahead a bit. Let's review the output. Cam Assist has generated toolpaths based on the whole model differences between the casting stock model and the finished milled CAD body. We've got roughing, flat finishing, wall finishing, hole making, freeform, chamfering, and deburring strategies created and organized in the subfolders automatically. Cam Assist has created these strategies based on the constraints of the tool library we gave it. For each run, the strategies will depend on the tool libraries used. So, depending on how you have your tools set up, the output may vary. Let's also check out the simulation. We can see that Cam Assist has effectively and automatically generated toolpaths that make up the material difference between our casting body and the finished milled body. Let's look at another example. In this case, we have two bodies in our Fusion file as well, a casting part body and a finished mill part body. What we need to accomplish with milling is to surface the flange and to complete the hole making. In this case, we're going to constrain the toolpaths further in Cam Assist so that only these faces are considered for the toolpath calculations. Meanwhile, we need to configure the setup. For the setup, again, we will set the casting body as the solid stock and then the finished part body as the model. Now we're ready to start Cam Assist. In this file, we will be using the Cloud NC Demo Inch Tool Library. The material setting for this file is low carbon steel. Next, we will set up the file so that only the faces we select will be finished. We will go to the Advanced tab and uncheck machine full part. Next, we will go through and carefully select the faces we want to machine. It is worth doing this properly. So take time to make sure you have selected all of the necessary faces. Once we have the faces selected, we can hit run. Once again, we have sped up this part of the video but it only takes a minute or two on a part like this to calculate the tool paths in Cam Assist. We also have to calculate the tool paths in Fusion to get the final output. We have skipped ahead a bit for the sake of time. Let's review the output. As with the previous example, we can see that Cam Assist has organized the strategy output nicely into folders for us. This makes reviewing the tool paths clear and easy to follow.
Okay, let's check out the results in the simulation. Notice how the output is following the face selections we made in Cam Assist. Thanks for checking out this video today. This video showcased Cam Assist for Fusion, but this functionality is also available in other Cam integrations like Siemens NX and Mastercam. If you'd like to learn more about Cam Assist, be sure to visit www.cloudnc.com and set up an appointment with your reseller or one of our customer success team members. See you in the next video.